All right. Um, so I guess my talk uh, is going to be already a slight transition from the uh, developer sprint that we had yesterday and the day before that was excellent. Um, I want to show you another upcoming contribution that we're currently working on. Uh, so I'm from ESO Electronic. Uh, my name is Dominic and I'm the, the CEO. We have about 100 people uh, in Germany, Romania, Greece, India and the Philippines. And uh, <clears throat> this is just for context. We do circuit board assembly, uh, electronics rapid prototyping, and uh, we produce mission critical electronics. So uh, what that means is we produce something like this. Here you see a circuit board, and basically our service is to buy the components and populate them onto the circuit board. Uh, now, that seems simple, however, uh, we have about 200 different customers whom we do that for, over 4,000 different products that we produce. So it's not just that board that you see here, but 4,000 different ones, over 15, millions compo 15 million components assembled per year, and uh, over 700,000 boards. And with that, we make about $6.8 million revenue. This is just to contextualize, and all of this is running on ERP Next since April. Um, and so our goal that leads to, to our contribution here is uh, basically to run the whole company on ERP Next. And uh, I say completely run it on ERP Next in a very monolithic structure. And uh, so when we're saying we want to run everything in our company on ERP Next, we're like, well, we're an electronics manufacturing company. How about open hardware? And we have this little uh, timer where we would punch in, you know, with an RFID tag. And that's a really anachronistic thing from sometime in the early 2000s. It works not that well, and uh, it logs it into a CSV file that's uploaded to a server. It's all very silly. And so we thought, well, you know, let's, let's take that as an example and let's create something. So our software development team, we call that Pneumatic, and so we call the product N-Timer. And basically the challenge was, uh, end timer, we wanted to build a, a timer with which employees can punch in and out every day and directly integrate that into ERP Next completely seamlessly. And uh, that should be easy, right? ERP Next uh, has a REST API, a full REST API. So why shouldn't we just do that? And uh, so we did. This is the first, like when I had the idea, I was like, okay, let's, let's make a proof of concept. So I just like dug around my, uh, 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 my, my desk and I found a, a few old, like this is an Arduino Uno and like a breadboard and some stuff like this. So in just like an hour, I just hooked everything up that I thought we need, like we need two buttons and you know, this needs to be a pull up. Uh, we need the Arduino, we need an RFID reader, a tag and a display, isn't that enough? So I, I just hooked it up, I tested it, I wrote a small function, uh, in the Arduino IDE and basically directly hooked it up to ERP Next and was like, okay, this works. And uh, literally this thing took me, I don't know, half a day and we had a timer, you know, directly in ERP Next. So then I was like, okay, well, I can't just take that and screw it onto the wall and say, you know, let's, let's call it a day, it's good. Um, so I thought, okay, so how can we turn this into a real product? So I just like made a small mock-up, a, 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 a sketch, and said, all right, so we have the display, we have the two buttons and the buzzer uh, to give like a feedback. We have an area for the RFID, and how about on the back of the PCB, we just plug in an Arduino, an Ethernet controller, uh, USB power, and uh, network uh, interface, Ethernet interface. So created that. I'll, I'll hurry up. Um, <clears throat> then the next idea is okay. How do we package that into a hardware? And we basically designed the PCB. This uh, PCB was designed, um, these are some uh, 3D visualizations that we used then to uh, produce the first PCB. So this was produced uh, in-house at ESO. Uh, we bought all the components at the assembly and then we started the software development part. In the meantime, we also created a 3D case, a 3D printing case. Uh, to, to package the product. These are the models uh, that you see. And here's the nice thing. The thing works and it's 100% open source. You can download it, uh, Pneumatic and Timer on GitHub. You have everything. 
you, you can take the CAD file and modify it. Uh, you say, you know, I, I don't like that aspect, let me change it. You can download the circuit board, you can download the bill of materials, the case for 3D printing, the whole software, everything is there. This is completely 100% open hardware. So anyone who wants to manufacture can. Uh, you can produce it for yourself. I hope that uh, you contribute to it if, if you find this helpful. Uh, we are we are using it at the company in a in a test stage. Uh, once everything is worked out, we will, uh, um, you know, make the updates. And this is what what's next. And I hope that you will contribute to this because this is open hardware. This is not ESO hardware. We will enable it uh, to run on HTTPS. We will add Wi-Fi. We will possibly add a biometric fingerprint reader and we will do a first production run. And I hope you have good ideas for it and you will also contribute to it. Or use it. <clears throat>